here's a shot of some lovely, healthy looking broccoli. The broccoli head looks like little flower buds that haven't opened up yet. And that's because they are little flower buds. Here's the broccoli flower. If you don't harvest your broccoli quick enough, it produces these flowers as the plant's goal is to reproduce. The flower will eventually drop seeds and that's its attempt to make a new plant. Another beautiful looking broccoli, just ready to be harvested. And here is our sea of carrot tops. All the carrots are growing below the surface. We'll pull a few out just so you can see what they look like. Carrots grown in your own garden may have a funkier shape than what you're used to seeing at the grocery store. The carrots do their best to grow around pebbles and small rocks. You can do your best to make their soil very fine if their shapes bother you, but sometimes it's fun to see all the shapes they can make. And here's a cauliflower that's almost ready. You could cut it now, or you could wait a little bit longer for it to be bigger. If you want a cauliflower that's more white than yellow, you can tie the leaves over the head and protect it from the sun, just like this. This will blanch it, but if you let it grow and get a little sunshine, it becomes more of a golden color. This golden color is indicative of more phytochemicals. Phytochemicals, or plant chemicals, offer various health benefits to humans. What's good about these cruciferous vegetables? Well, they're loaded with nutrients, including several carotenoids, beta carotene, lutein, and zeanthin, vitamin C, vitamin E, and K, folate. And in addition, they contain a group of substances which are called glucosinolates. And during food preparation, as we chew them and digest them, these glucosinolates are broken down to form chemicals that are biologically active. In other words, what our bodies can use. And these are called indoles, nitriles, and isothiocyanates. And these substances have been researched a lot for their anti-cancer effect. So here we have the ingredients for our recipe for roasted broccoli and cauliflower salad with yogurt, honey, and lemon. We've got our stars of the show here, our broccoli and cauliflower, some plain Greek yogurt, honey, an onion, carrots, dried cranberries, lemon, sunflower seeds, and olive oil, ready to go. First, we're gonna cut up our broccoli and cauliflower after we've rinsed it to rinse off any bugs and dirt. And you can see here that I've got an assortment of knives. I got a chef knife, that's the big knife. I've got a small paring knife and a slightly larger paring knife. So we're gonna take the leaves off and then take our little paring knife and go in and cut these up and then break the smaller florets off. So since this is the stem and more dense than the florets, we're gonna cut it up kind of thinly and then you can kind of stack them up like poker chips, and then you can cut them in halves and cut them in quarters, so they'll roast in about the same time as the lighter florlets. And then we've got our lovely cauliflower, and I'm gonna remove the outer leaves with the small paring knife. And with our bigger paring knife, I'm going to try to cut away more of this bottom. Then I think I'll use the smaller knife to cut these florets off, just kind of peel them off. The bigger florets, you can go ahead and cut those in half. It's all just a matter of what you think is about right. About golf ball sized is good, but don't stress about it. All right, and there we have our cut up broccoli and cauliflower cut into florets. Okay, our next step is to put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil on our veggies. Mm, look at that nice color of that olive oil. And mix them around and coat them all a little bit and make sure they've all got some olive oil on them. Then we're gonna put them in a roasting pan and this pan holds just about what we've got, which is fortunate for us. Then we're gonna roast it with the olive oil that we put on it, a little salt, a little pepper, there we go. And then we're gonna pop them in the oven. So they've been in the oven for about 12 minutes and I decided I wanted to flip the pieces over. So we're gonna take our spatula here and flip them. Not a perfect science, but cooking is not. Then we're gonna shake them all even Steven and put them back in for four or five minutes. We'll just keep an eye on them. So while we're waiting for our veggies to finish roasting, we're gonna talk about zesting a lemon. Zesting a lemon is grating off some of the outside skin to get that wonderful taste of the lemon oil that's really only available in the skin. One tool that's really a nice kitchen tool to have for grating a lot of different things is a box grater. The bigger holes are great for grating cheese and the smaller holes are perfect for zesting a lemon. There is another tool that you can use if you want to get a little fancier, and that is something called a microplane. This recipe calls for one teaspoon of lemon zest, which really isn't very much. So you don't have to zest the whole lemon in this case. 
Here we have our nicely roasted broccoli and cauliflower, which is ready for our next step of mixing it all together. Now, if a recipe calls for lemon zest and lemon juice from that lemon, always zest it first. So we're gonna cut it in half and we'll juice one half of our lovely lemon with the juicer. Press down and turn. Then just take out the seeds from the juice with your fingers or a spoon. And there's our juice. So this recipe calls for some grated carrots. Take the ends off the carrots. I don't take the skin off because the carrots are clean. I scrub them and the skin is where some of the nutrition is. So for our grated carrots, well, we can trot out our tried and true box grater that we met before. Oh boy, pieces flying. Good exercise. Okay, so how to get toasted sunflower seeds. You can buy them already toasted. That's the easiest way. You can buy them raw and toast them in a pan, which is what I'm going to do here. So we're gonna shake the pan and spread them out. You have to keep moving them all the time and on a fairly high heat. So now we're gonna mix our dressing by putting in our yogurt. Then we're gonna add the honey, which I've measured out. Then we'll add our two tablespoons of lemon juice and a teaspoon of lemon zest, and we can always add more later if we want more. Then we will mix it until it's smooth. Okay, we are ready for the assembly. Then we'll add our cup of carrots, our dried cranberries, our quarter cup of toasted sunflower seeds. The recipe calls for scallions or a mild onion, but I don't like the taste of a lot of raw onions or scallions, so I'm gonna put in just a half a teaspoon to use it more like an herb. Now we're gonna fold in the ingredients, which means to gently mix them, folding the ingredients over themselves. We do wanna get all that dressing up from the bottom. And here's our beautiful salad. Super duper nutritious appetizer, or it could also be a great thing to bring to a potluck. Bon appetit.